When I was growing up as a child, as a little boy, I remember uh, my mom, uh, she used to run a bootleg house. And there used to be men and women come out, you know, every day, all day. By the age of 10, Sam Cox was having sex, drinking and smoking, and using drugs. And I thought it was all right for me to do it because I seen somebody else do it. Despite her illegal activities, Sam's mother took him to church every week. They used to sing a trick song, they come to Jesus right now. And I went down and I got saved. I thought that since I was going to church, that he was just going to make everything all right. And I found out that just was not the truth. And my teens began to get worse because my favorite uh, drug was crack cocaine. I started off snorting powder. And uh, at that time, I was selling drugs. Sam was making $3,000 a week selling drugs. His other passion was baseball. I did. I, I really loved the game because, you know, I, I had a good uh, batting average. Uh, Sometimes I'll be batting 400, a little higher than that. And, uh, you know, I had scouts looking at me. Uh, I knew that at that time that I, I was really going to go to the next level. Sam's dream of playing baseball vanished when he didn't have enough credits to graduate high school. That made him ineligible to play at the next level. Instead of going to college and playing baseball, Sam became a drug dealer. Every day I was trying to uh, do crack. If I wasn't selling it, uh, I was using it. And I found myself out to where I couldn't sell it no more. I fell in love with what I used to sell. Sam's lifestyle caught up to him. A judge sentenced him to five years in jail for selling drugs. And the judge told him, to, well, if you get him in a program, a rehab center, we'll let him go. And they did. They found him in a place called The Bridge. And I went there for six months. And uh, I got clean. I stayed clean for one year. But so I ended up selling drugs again. Sam's mother turned him in to his parole officer, and the court sent him back to rehab. I go for the 90 days, so I went face jail time and get right back on the street. I knew within myself that I wasn't ready to do what's right. Sam got caught again, and this time spent 13 months behind bars. Only months after his release, Sam was arrested again and sentenced to 20 years. And at that time, I said, God, help me, because I want to know you when I'm in my valley. I know if I didn't stop, I was going to die. Sam served five years and six months of the 20-year term and slowly renewed his relationship with God during that time. It's a process. It's a process of me picking up that word on a daily basis, meditate day and night. When Sam was released in 2000, he was a new man. I saw my life change a lot because that's when I got the confidence and the faith in God's word, no matter what the circumstance of the situation, that I always win, that he always calls me to triumph in victory. Sam's life change was so dramatic that in 2007, he received a full pardon. Today, he runs his own car detailing business and returns to the Gadsden State Prison on a weekly basis. A lot of people say, you know I me, mean? once I had it, always had it. That's not true because people know how I used to live. And they see they got somebody that was for them that, that's got a changed life. God's the same God yesterday and today and forevermore. He can do it for you.